Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Shamina is on you first. Okay. Huh? We can, yeah. Shamina. I'll say hello to our kids fans. Hello. Hi to our kids fans. If you are watching us on Instagram, thank you so much. Good afternoon. Okay, as promised, we have this uh, right. segment called Inside the Spotlight. And we're now trying to get Dr. Tristan Pei. Oh, yes, who has joined us. Hey, hopefully you're having some makan. And uh, let us know if you have any questions for uh, Dr. Pei as well. So this amazing guy that is going to be on your screens in just a few moments. A dentist by day, but like YouTuber, TikToker, Instagrammer by night. So truly, truly you know, you know this, this is... is hey, hey, he's on! He's on. Wait, Wait, Dr. Pei. Pei. All right, all right. Hello. 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 I want to make sure we reduce the echo. The echo. <laughs> no sound. No sound. Oh yeah, is it okay? Can all right. I can hear you all, all good. Oh, beautiful. Fantastic. Okay, so we're literally seated in uh, across from each other at the Kiss 92 studios. This is what happens behind the scenes. <laughs> so we are actually live here before we go live on uh, on air on Kiss 92. Dr. Pei, uh, if you just joined us, you know, he's known on YouTube for his ASMR videos. I brought all these sweets because I want to ask Dr. Pei if I can eat all of this. Um, and I want to bust a few myths. So if you have any questions, dental or things like social media, please ask Dr. Tristan Pei like right now, okay? Hey, you got fans. fans yeah, yeah, yeah. good to have <laughs> all of you here. Yes. All right. and, Any questions? Uh, let me know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good. So amazing, you know. It's truly like if you have any questions. Yes, we're all waving at you as well. <laughs> hey, right. hello, hello, and uh, welcome to our Kiss ninety two studios, Doctor Pei. You prefer I call you Doctor Pei or Tristan? Anything. Anything is fine. How do you prefer your followers call you Tristan or? Uh, think? I think most of them call me Dr. Tristan. Dr. Yeah. Tristan. Ah, ah. see. The whole time I've been calling you Dr. Pei, you never correct me. No, it's, it's fine. It's fine. In the clinic, they call me Dr. Pei. They call me Dr. Yeah, yeah. Dr. It's uh, also... Yeah. Dr. Tristan, if you could give yourself a nickname, would you be like a ASMR dentist? ASMR Pei? Dr. I would still be Dr. Tristan Pei. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still be the same. Okay, no fancy yeah. names. <laughs> Yeah, no, no hey, fancy name. Hey, you got fans, fans. Yes. Hi, hi, hi. Hey, hi, hi, hi. Wow. Hey, you got a lot of fans All right. joining us. Thank you. Yeah. And also, thank you so much for uh, being live with us here on Kiss 92. Okay, we're going to go live in just a few moments. And uh, we are going to be talking about uh, YouTube, your YouTube success. Yes. We want to talk about also, not just YouTube success, I also want to talk about um, a bunch of things like... Um, how you deal with the online popularity? Mm. Are you like Lady Gaga? Cannot go to shopping malls. <laughs> people, people see you and they do they stop you for advice? Uh, not that level. Not that level <laughs> yet. <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep looking at the phone because it's like oh my goodness. All right. Uh, tell your friends that we're going live on Kiss ninety two as well. Hi. Hey, thank you so much. Um, and we will go live with you and uh, we're going to be posting reels, right? Yes. So if you're sharing this, please tag us. Maybe you can take screenshots. You can tag Dr. Tristan Pei. You can tag Kiss92FM. You can tag me, E. Charmaine. Uh, we would love that as well. Wow, hey, you got like some... You you have hardcore fans, Dr. Pei. Or Dr. Tristan, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amazing. So uh, we've just told our Kiss fans uh, on air... Hmm that we are live here why don't we why don't we address like what do you think people are most you know do, do people ask you a lot of questions on, on do they leave comments on YouTube like what's the number one question they ask the number one questions uh, they ask on YouTube do they ask about your family do they ask no about they don't really ask about my family but they ask about maybe whiten teeth how can I have whiter teeth oh and, uh, interesting yeah uh, yeah whiter teeth quite common Okay, we, yeah, can, we yeah. can talk about that later. How to have mm. whiter teeth? Correct. And like, is it better to um, okay? Because I, we, we have a we have about a minute or so, right? Sure. I buy those. Uh, I don't know if I should say the name, but mm. I buy those whitening strips. I think the brand. Mm. Know. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can buy from overseas. You can buy online. Um, is it better to do those whitening strips than, and can I do it like if I have an important ev event, and can I just do it like? Uh, you know the kind that leave half an hour. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Can I do it like once a day for one week and then, ta-da! I will have shiny teeth. All right. Okay. To go back to to whiten teeth, then of course we we'll start with the basic first to understand. There's actually two uh 
two area. One is of course surface stain, the other one intrinsic stain. Surface stains, we can use our normal brush, uh, normal toothpaste contain uh, all those abrasive, you can clean away surface stains. And if that's clean away, it's good. Uh, if that's not good enough, then you can see your dentist for professional cleaning. Usually, I would suggest something simple first. Okay, and if that's not good enough, uh, then you can look at whitening product or you can look at uh, in the dental clinic you can have chest side teeth whitening or whitening tray What's of different? course uh, concentration of the gel is different so when we're looking at treating the surface of the tooth then we want uh, hydrogen, perox hydrogen peroxide or carbonate peroxide so these are the two ingredients that will help with teeth whitening so concentration will be different chest side teeth whitening you see on the chair for an hour then usually that will take uh, uh, an, an hour and the concentration of the hydro hydrogen peroxide can be up to 30%. Mm. Uh, home care whitening can be around 20%. Uh, our toothpaste, whitening toothpaste can go to 1 to 3%. Yeah, so it's good to look at the percentage of the uh, hydrogen peroxide or carbonate peroxide on the uh, uh, the strip that you mentioned also. If there's such a, is there such a thing as overdoing it? That means I use my teeth whitening toothpaste, I do the strips. If can you ever overdo the teeth whitening? Will it weaken your teeth? All right. Uh, teeth whitening are relatively safe. Of course, during whitening, there are two concerns. One is teeth sensitivity and gum soreness, and this usually go away. But of course, before you start off uh, with teeth whitening, it's always good to have a clean, a good check with your dentist, uh, so that if there's any dental concern like tooth decay or gum issue, we want to get that sorted out uh, before aesthetic. So maybe health first before aesthetic, that might be a good strategy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think everybody wants the aesthetics. I yeah, 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 the... yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. All right, we're going to be uh, going live on Case 92. If you have any questions for Dr. Pei, ask away. And um, I mean, we want to get into your journey, you know. So we, we might as well, uh, one of our tooth decay we're also one. on IG. Are we live? What IG? Oh, no. It's in, I'm sharing my uh, YouTube, YouTube group that we are. More on uh, IG also on the ah, live. Yeah. Telling your <laughs> we're also doing a concurrent live on YouTube and also on uh, IG. We're, we're live everywhere. That's, <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, so um, I wanted to just get into it. Maybe I, I can before before we even go uh, live on air. Like when when it comes to to being on socials, right, and creating content for people who want to become content creators. You, the next big YouTube star. You know when I search for you, right? I search top YouTubers in Singapore, Dr. Tristan Pei. You're, you're on that list, you know? Okay. Yeah. I'm on it. <laughs> of course. So the question then becomes, how, how, how does it feel to be on that list and how, how do people get there? Did you ever dream of being here on this top 10, top 5 YouTuber list? I have not dreamed of uh, that before <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm actually very pleasantly... Uh, uh, surprised and shocked also to be in my current position but I'm very grateful very grateful to to, to a lot of things that happened along the way and uh, what's yeah. the best thing that happened along the way all the bad things that happened to me huh? are the ones where that's I grow the most yeah the oh. worst thing that happens are the uh, unfortunately I, I mean that's life it's usually when uh, obstacles come in then uh, certain things like uh, when uh, uh, a point in time when I was in uh, uh, on my O-level result, I got very well. I do very well for prelim. I managed to go, go to the top 5 JC. Then after that, the actual result, the O-level result came out and uh, I didn't do as well. I have to be banished to another level of uh, JC and uh, it was devastating. But once you get over it and to realise that the school is important, but the people in the school are more important. That's what my teacher taught me. Yeah, mm. The teacher is more important than the school. So the school, the people make the, the, people make the school. So, uh, 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 if you want anything you want, that's you. You can still get it. Yeah. And so, did you always dream about being a dentist? Like, is dentistry your dream? I have started my dream uh, at primary six, or maybe at the age of ten, wanting to be a medical doctor. Um, my mom and my dad is an odd job laborer, so uh, he doesn't earn as well. His job is. Uh, uh, he would ride a motor bicycle and go around selling rojak and fish and uh, mm. um, and uh, I wanted to do something that uh, can provide for the family more and at that point in time I happened to chance upon the medical so I, I go towards that direction and I was uh, heading studying towards that direction then towards the end when I was uh, applying for university they I applied dentistry uh, medicine first try dentistry uh, for the interview um, dentistry uh, gave me a chance so I told myself that 
yeah, whatever we do, we just have to love it. And uh, I mean, dentistry is similar to medicine mm. at that point. I managed to convince myself that and I managed to convince my interviewer, um, my professor in uh, uh, NUS, uh, Faculty of Dentistry, and that's where I started my dentistry. We don't know anything about dentistry. Okay, so <laughs> I've chatted with you a fair bit before we even went on air, right? And you have this amazing, very positive outlook to life. Is that something you got from... Uh, maybe what you saw your dad, you mentioned he was a... Did you say he sold Roja? Last yeah, yeah, he sell Roja. My mom will prepare the Roja at home mm. and uh, he will... Uh, sell the Roja. He will have this motorcycle, then he will, put, he will make his own store and uh, it's a mobile hawker. So it's not so, uh, not so ideal. Mm. Were you helping out as a child? Um, you... I'm not helping out, but I'm observing and uh, do, so some days that he will have bad days where the authority will actually take away his, uh, his store that is mounted on a bike. He's very upset, but we come back. Next day, he start making the store again, make a new store again. So, so mm. yeah. So uh, I think being resilient and uh, yeah, not letting obstacle. Yeah, he got to feed the family, and that's how he make a living in the past. Wow. Yeah. And I think that that is maybe something that uh, I see in you too. You're very determined. You will make everything work. Right. This this seems like your your kind of thing. Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we are going to be going on air live in about 30 seconds. So we just want to, we'll be here for a bit. So if we are live and you have questions for Dr. Pei, ask away. All right. Yeah. We I have, thought we are uh, live already. Somebody, <laughs> uh, live on, on, on oh, video on Facebook right. too. Okay. Oh, there's somebody who was just sharing that your story is very inspiring. Okay. Yeah, it's a very, very inspiring against all odds kind of, uh, I feel, uh, uh, story. Okay, we're going to go on air now, okay? On, on, uh, on Kiss 92, so please tune in, but we're still live on ID. Too close? It is Kiss 92, all the great songs in one place, Maximilian, beautiful scars. It's taken us to about 11 minutes after 1 o'clock, Charmaine E with you. And if you're hearing some sounds, it's the sound of my guest, from inside the spotlight, smiling into the microphone. I'm so happy to be welcoming uh, Dentist by Day, very popular YouTuber, TikToker and Instagrammer by night, Dr. Tristan Pei. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Charmaine, for, for the warm welcome and getting me here to the studio. I'm so excited to share with the audience. Ah, oh, all right. <laughs> we have been live on Instagram, uh, Kiss92FM, and that's the sneak peek that you get when you join us live on socials. Uh, Dr. Tristan Pei is one of the top YouTubers here in Singapore. When you search uh, uh, top uh, Singapore YouTubers, no question, Dr. Pei's videos are there. And chances are, if you're on TikTok, Instagram, you would have seen his ASMR videos. All the sounds, he opens up the, he opens up all the candy. Yeah, and then he, he's, he's thinking, and it's all the sweets that we know here in Singapore. Packs and all that, mentors. So, uh, Dr. Pei, I have so many questions to ask you. Because you are primarily a doctor and you've been uh, uh, you've been a dentist for many, many years, right? 19 years. Yeah, and graduate then, since 2004. <laughs> and then YouTube took off during the pandemic. Yes, yes. Somewhere slightly after the pandemic in 2021, um, when uh, YouTube Shorts just started launching. Uh, back then, we don't have a Shorts feed on the YouTube and uh, I was uh, just uh, putting a lot of all my Shorts content onto the uh, YouTube videos, uh, YouTube shots, and the only way to be on the shots channel is by using the hashtag shots. So I downloaded, I actually physically dumped 300 videos into the channel. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the only thing I add is actually just description. Mm. And uh, yeah, I watched, I happened to chance upon another fellow creator uh, on uh, YouTube, then he mentioned what he's, she's doing. So I I follow suit. <laughs> so that's amazing. So you were ahead of the curve even before short short form video came out, right? Yes. And uh, yes. that that's when you had you started with like three thousand plus, and now if you go to Dr. Tristan Pay's YouTube, two point seven million, right? That comes with so much responsibility. And my question then becomes, like, how do you deal with this? Do you feel very scared to post a video? I will be very nervous, you know, before every post. Well, I <laughs> try not to overthink and. Uh, um, the difference between me now and uh, me when I have 3,000 subscribers, of course now we have more audience looking at it, but it's yeah. pretty much the same. And I will still want to continue making videos that I enjoy or making videos that the audience want to 
to, to the audience enjoy. I think that's the most important. So what is proven, right, is that people enjoy your ASMR. So ASMR is the, the sensory thing. You close up to your mouth and then after that, uh, the popular videos are te uh, the teeth brushing ones. And then another one, there's an actual term for this. Disclosing tablets. Disclosing tablets, they stain your teeth and then you brush it. Yeah. Those were like viral, viral, I mean, and I mean like 60 something million, right? Or, or more, is that right? Yes, the Disclosing Tablet ASMR got about 60 plus million on oh. YouTube. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> yeah, really, I, I, sometimes I'm shocked also. Why people, yeah, why, why, uh, but well, that's what the audience wants. And yes. uh, yeah, sometimes we don't try to. Uh, the best way to know whether your content works is to look at the analytic. Uh, YouTube provides very good analytics so yes, that yes, I yes. can uh, understand uh, to, to see where I can move my content towards. But you know, like YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. So you know what? Uh, we are live on Instagram right now. In, in fact, yes. uh, Dr. Pei, Dr. Tristan is also live on uh, YouTube. So we're, we're live all around here. And if you have any questions, ask away. Uh, we're going to be chatting off air on our socials and be right back. In the meantime, though, Rita Aura, this is your song on Kiss 92. Okay, we are going to continue chatting um, on our socials. <coughs> there are people who say, please follow me. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Who, who oh, asking wow. to follow? No, I'm not yeah. sure. So, what are some uh, positive things that people have commented on your YouTube? With 2.7, right, to have a mass 2.7, did you have people encouraging you at the beginning? Like, how, how does this work? Hmm. Definitely, there are people who enjoy, they, they mention that they like my video, they find it nice, and there are people who say don't uh, ignore the haters or, or so, and um, and defending me. And uh, some sometimes we see, um, um, uh, subscribe, uh, we see the, the audience actually sp um, protecting me. Yeah, so Why, that's okay, very hold on, hold on, heartwarming. That's a very interesting point. Yeah. What, people protect you because other people attack you, is that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah some nasty see? comments. And, what do they say? Your teeth are very nice, what? Uh, well, some of the ASMR, I mean, it's um, art is something very subjective. To to me or to some audience, if I find it entertaining, but uh, I will not be surprised if uh, there are people, there are a lot of people who find it disgusting and there's nothing wrong with that, okay? It's perfectly fine. They yeah. see that, they comment. <laughs> they have hey, the orange, uh, no, the, the green poo, uh, poo emoticon, you know, oh. so they put lots of it and, uh, yeah, but it's, it's okay, it's okay. And there's, there's, there's people who have nothing to do, you know? <laughs> and we always see that the, the haters are, you know what, the, the people who hate you are still watching. Yes. Even though they may not Agreed. subscribe, they add to your views. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I appreciate them also. So I also thanks them for, for watching my video. Yeah. Alright, if you even if you comment something, you, you still watch my video. If you even if you don't like it, I think that's requires a lot of uh, courage, okay, and uh, yeah, determination. So you're very positive, you know. Most people will be like, ah, they, have, they make me so angry, they make me I mean so do you get self-conscious? Because like I mean, with 2.7 million, there's there, there's a fair amount of those followers that live in Singapore. Do people come up to you when you're walking around at Orchard Road and be like, Hey, Dr. Pei, can you help me out with my dental cavity? <laughs> do you get that or do you like, hey? We, we, I have, I have uh, um, people recognising me and coming by to say hi and uh, so, but uh, saying that they want uh, to, saying that about their dental concern, I think yeah. Singaporean hardly, uh, we hardly have anyone. <laughs> really? Nobody comes up to you? Uh, in the dental clinic, yes. I have uh, ever done a wisdom tooth surgery for one of my patients and uh, after that, yeah. one week later, we see them for review and remove the, uh, the stitches for, for, for the patient. He actually was holding on to the phone. Then I was like, oh, that's my profile. Oh, <laughs> 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 after he's going to show me and uh, uh, telling me about it. I was do, like, wow. do, do people come to your dental practice first and realise oh, you are the TikTok Dr. Pei or you are the, the YouTuber Dr. Tristan? Like, or do they yeah. see you online first then they go, ah, maybe I'll go to him to get my teeth checked? Um, mixture. Okay, mixture. Okay, okay. Regular patients and uh, yeah, some uh, who saw me. Um, uh, you know, the, the funny thing is uh, I don't normally see kids and uh, there was one occasion where um, the mom wants to book the kid with me, okay. but I told the front desk I don't see kids, and uh, because we have a lot of kids dentists in the clinic, and they are very well, very good with kids, and uh, uh, the my my front desk say no, okay. But then after that, uh, uh, the patient's mom say that she's a fan and she saw me on social media and she wants. Oh, 
how can I say no, right? Yeah, how can I say no? I said, yes, of course. Yeah, yes, of course. <laughs> then so, we go in and uh, yeah, okay, we took some like, photos. You brought and, up kids, right? Which I think is a very interesting point. Mm. So kids love to eat candy, chocolate, sweets. I brought them, I brought some cake care. Ooh. I brought some. So were you right. always, were you always uh, good at brushing your teeth? Please tell me you were like every other child and didn't brush your teeth properly, had plug, had to have the teeth fall out. Since young, I have uh, I brush two times a day because my mom always get me to brush morning and night, and uh, I love sweets and candy. Well, when I'm young, when my dad and mom are uh, uh, working on their trade, uh, uh, my mom is busy preparing the stuff for my dad to go and sell roja. Then uh, I would someone take some money from the uh, from home. I'll go down and buy uh, from my mama shop back then. Then I'll buy a bag of. Uh, uh, chocolates, candies, and I will just eat them with my brother, my younger brother. Which is your favorite? Like, wow. Do you have a favorite like white rabbit or like? Well, right, 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 rabbit. It's good. Yeah. Why I make all this? Do you remember Frutella? Ah. Frutella is very chewy and sweet. Yeah, um, yeah. Sticky. Yes, yes. Do you As have a, a child, we love all this. Uh, now pork, I love Rocher, rim pork. Uh, what Rocher? Rocher is, Rocher, is Rocher, uh? yeah. Oh, I mean, that's la that's now. Back then, back then, of course, uh, also was Van Housen box chocolate during Chinese wow. New Year or festive season. We can have that and uh, very nice. yeah, that's that's very nice. Chocolates, candy, and uh, yeah, so so many. So I I guess I'm living my dream as a child. I mean, I, since I was young as a little boy, I always loved all this. It's just that some uh, as I'm become a dentist. There's a certain uh, society perception that the dentist shouldn't be taking sweets. Uh, it's okay to eat sweets, okay. but maybe in limitations. What okay? is limitation? Limitations though? means uh, 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 after meals. Okay, uh, limit them after meals and also decrease frequency. So uh, before meals, can eat sweets. Ah, uh, if you want to eat, limit them before after meals. Uh, so uh, uh, what what you mean by that is the frequency. So you don't take sweets every one hour. Okay, if you have some people eat sweets, they eat every half an hour and they don't brush. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with sweets and candy, but you must clean. Okay, uh, if you can clean something well, you can maintain well. If you remove all the sugar, all the food trap on the teeth, you floss all the area well. Yeah. What's, what's there to worry? Our teeth is there for a function, for us to enjoy our food, for us to eat what you want. If you love sweet and candy, uh, if you love any food, of course you maintain them well. Uh, regular visits with your dentist, having a uh, good check. I think that's the way to go. Wow, okay, all right, sounds good. Now, um, for me, right, I'm curious to know, like, what's your goal? You have 2 point something million uh, across all the, the platforms, right? Is your is your plan to to maybe be so big that you can uh, leave being a dentist and be a full-time social media star? I will not leave as a dentist. For now, I'm uh, working six days a week as a dentist. I'm a full-time dentist. Yeah. I enjoy dentistry. Dentistry got me to where I am. And uh, yeah, I'm very grateful and I will still be a dentist. But maybe in the future, if uh, uh, I could do less, okay, I could do less, but that's maybe in the future. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> wow, so you'll never leave dentistry. No, it's still your no, no. I'm, I'm a dentist. I'm a uh, dentist. You're, you're a dentist. Okay, wow. So what is the one thing you feel that if you had to share or that you see in Singapore that we have this biggest misconception like that you want to dispel right now? Like like certain foods that we can eat that are good for you, must brush teeth how many times a day? Actually, how many times a day should we be brushing All right. your teeth? Brushing your teeth two times a day is actually good enough, okay, morning and night. Yes. Uh, and uh, of course, the technique to clean all the surface well, more important. So clean the outside, the biting and the inside surface, uh, and also the floss, okay? And um, yeah, so so cleaning thorough is still the most important. Okay, if you clean three times a day, but you don't reach the back area well, then you are missing certain spots. So cleaning thorough is still the most important. And then must you... Uh, you said clean, uh, brush teeth twice a day and floss. Yes. Okay, is mouth wash uh, compulsory? Alright. Uh, um, there are two ways to clean our teeth. The physical method will be our brushing and our flossing. The chemical way will be our uh, mouthwash. So uh, mouthwash is a junk. A junk means uh, something additional that we can use to clean our teeth. But most important is brush and floss. Uh, in my practice, okay, uh, usually I only give mouthwash after wisdom tooth surgery or when there's gum infection. Usually we can do without. Okay, but 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 saying so, everyone is unique and special, and uh, some people like the uh, the fresh smell and the fresh taste after the. the uh, the mouthwash, why not? It this burns. is fine. I actually think it burns. I don't know how, how it's fresh for a lot of people. Do you 
Do you use a mouthwash? Uh, at, at times, I, I do that, but uh, I'm not, not a fan of uh, mouthwash. Oh, <laughs> really? Yes, not, not, a, not a huge fan. Yeah, Does I, mouthwash replace, can I, if I'm lazy to brush, can I just use mouthwash? Well, a good analogy is that if you want to clean the floor, will you want to splash detergent over it or you want to scrub it? Uh, <laughs> if, if you only choose one, of course, good to bo do both. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. And uh, mouthwash, there is a limitation chemical method. The physical scrubbing is still more important. Wow, <laughs> okay, okay. And yes. uh, when it comes to toothbrushes, which is better, the manual mm. type or the electric kind of toothbrush? Right. Studies have shown that the uh, electric toothbrush does clean better, okay. Uh, so this is a manual brush, okay. Electric manual studies have shown that electric toothbrush does clean uh, better, but it's perfectly fine. As long as you get the right technique, it's still okay. Oh, All right. Okay. One of the myths that I realize is that a lot of people feel that brushing their teeth with a lot of strength, brushing harder, okay, can make their teeth cleaner. Yeah. Okay. But brushing harder, if you use a lot of strength, uh, 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 over time can wear the teeth, and that can lead to uh, teeth wear and sensitivity. Okay. So for example, uh, if let's say we look at brushing our teeth as a table tabletop. Okay. To clean our tabletop, how we clean our tabletop, we use a soft cloth. A soft cloth is similar to a soft toothbrush. So to clean the table, we use a soft cloth, we wipe the table. Okay. To clean our teeth, we use a soft brush. Uh, um, then it will not cause any wear to the surface. So always good to use a soft brush. The most important is still the strength. To clean the table, we use a soft cloth, but when we clean, usually we wipe. Uh. When it comes to our teeth, usually we scrub. Ooh. Try scrubbing the Teeth, uh, the table uh, every day, uh, of course the table was over there. Okay, so, so we, gotta go, go gentle. we gotta go on air right now <laughs> and we'll continue this all time. Huh? All right. It is Gorillas, Feel Good Ink here on KISS 92, all the great songs in one place. We've got uh, a very popular YouTuber, plus, uh, well, he's on Instagram, he's on TikTok, and uh, this guy uh, has amassed 2.6, 2.7 million on YouTube. Uh, there's no way you can go on air without uh, go on, on online without coming across these videos, and uh, we've got Dr. Tristan Pay here. So Dr. Tristan is a dentist. You're like a dentist six days a week, right? Yes. What I want to get into the meat of it is how do you deal with people who leave very nasty comments because that's social media for you, right? People people don't always like your stuff. How do you deal with that? Well, by showing them a lot of empathy and care and. Uh uh, yeah, so for, for someone who don't really enjoy your content and they still come and watch it and they put a nasty comment, comment, they could be actually doing that for a few other videos. So sometimes by showing them a little bit of empathy, I, I might even go in and comment, I will heart their comment, I can, I will just give them a, a heart, uh, I can just type in maybe an emoji, a, a, a heart emoji, uh, just wish them well and good. Mm. It's perfectly fine, okay? Uh, yeah, even if you don't watch my content, you don't like it, I still wish you well. Why so not? so on, on the flip side, right? What's the nicest thing someone has ever said to you? Um, about your ASMR videos or your They content? love my content and they show how they appreciate, they type in their own uh, uh, views and mm. their, their, their opinion. And some, some even go to the extent of defam defaming me against the haters or those people who leave uh, not so ideal comments. So you started from 3,000 3, subscribers to now like 2.7, right? Yes. What's your advice to somebody who wants to start a channel tomorrow? Because every, it's undeniable, everybody wants to be the next TikTok star, YouTube star. What's, your, what's the way to, to go? Alright, the best time to start uh, YouTube, you can start today, okay? The best time is yesterday. Of course, the, best <laughs> time is, uh, the next best time is today and, and now. Just open up a account and uh, start from there. Okay, uh, start making one video, don't overthink, just produce content and uh, um, yeah, just produce content mm. and moving from, from there. We've got questions coming through from our live, uh, our live on Instagram. A couple of our kids fans and your mm. fans too asking, what should I look out for when I'm buying a toothpaste? Alright, okay, it depends on the your condition, okay. Of course, a normal toothpaste, uh, if you don't have any medical or den any dental concern, we'll just go with a normal fluoride toothpaste. Uh, choose a toothpaste with at least 1,000 parts per million of fluoride. And uh, 1,000 parts per million of fluoride. And uh, that's very technical. I realise a lot of toothpaste, they might not put in the 1,000 parts. Uh, maybe on a kid's toothpaste, you see that. Okay. Yeah, but uh, 
Yeah, uh, fluoridated content is important, okay? Having fluoride to help to prevent tooth decay. Yeah. Uh, if you have teeth sensitivity, then good to go with a toothpaste or sensitive teeth. Uh, example, maybe like Kogi sensitive or sensitive toothpaste. They have this thing called potassium nitrate that can help to cover the dental tubules. That will help to reduce sensitivity. Okay. Uh, and of course, if it's still not getting better, please see your dentist for a good check. And uh, of course, if you want whitening, uh, all toothpaste will have a little bit of mild abrasive. The abrasive will help to clean away surface stains. By cleaning away surface stains, that will make your teeth look whiter. But if it's not good enough, then of course you can uh, uh, see your dentist for professional cleaning. Go with, going with the most conservative method, method first is the most important. And if it's not good enough, then you can look at teeth whitening. You can have whitening toothpaste like white strip, uh, like what we mentioned just now. Yeah. Uh, uh, you can have a white strip, you can whitening toothpaste or chair side teeth whitening or customized whitening tray. Wow. Uh, in the dental setting, you can do I do a lot more uh, uh, customized whitening tray. Uh, not so much chair whitening, but that's just uh, a few examples that we can do. That sounds good. And I know our time with you is a little bit limited, but we're still going to be on social media just for a short while uh, on Instagram. But thank you so much, Dr. Tristan Pei. Uh, if you're watching us on IG Live, share. Uh, where can we find you all across Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, right? Dr. Tristan Pei. Uh, and there's us as well, Kiss 92 FM and E Charmaine. But thank you, Dr. Pei, for being with us on air. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, I just need to do weather in just a bit. Uh, we can chit chat with people, or sure. we can also just All end right. our stream. Thanks, guys. Oh, sorry, must okay. chit chat here. Thanks, guys, for joining thank you. us. Thank you, everyone you from uh, tips. Yeah, YouTube and IG, okay, yes. for being here. And, and to YouTube as well. For yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks. Dr. Pei is. Yeah. Thanks everyone from YouTube for bringing we'll see me you here. See you soon. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Have healthy teeth. Stay well and amazing. Okay, we'll see you all then. Bye bye. There we go.